Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging with the Kiddos Creators Creations. I'm LaToya, and in today's video, I wanted to show you all how to create a custom word search puzzle over on Canva. If you find the video helpful, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so the first thing we want to do is head on over to canva.com and log into your account. If you don't already have a Canva account, you can create a free one, but you want to make sure you're logged into your account so that your work can be saved. Now we're going to head on over to the templates tab. In the search bar, we want to put in word search. As you can see, Canva has a ton of pre-made templates available. Select one that kind of fits the style that you were looking for. And from there, we can go in and personalize the word search to fit our needs. Once you've selected a word search that you like, you want to select customize this template. As you can see, this is a Halloween word search. I want to change this into a birthday word search. So I'm gonna click the text up here, change this from Halloween to birthday. I'm gonna delete this ghost image. I'm also gonna go in and I'm gonna delete the name and date up here, but you can keep that if you like. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the word list that they have provided. I'm going to find those words and replace them with the words that I want to use in this puzzle. And as I'm doing so, I'm going to correct myself an answer key. So how I'm going to do this, I'm going to go over to elements. I'm going to head down to lines and shapes and I'm going to select the line. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. I'm going to select the weight of the line to make it thicker. I'm going to change the color to yellow. I'm going to change the transparency of the color to make it more see-through. Okay, that's good. And this is what I'm going to use to create my answer key. So for instance, I see pumpkin right here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to highlight the word pumpkin. All right next, I'm going to go just go down the list and find all of these words and highlight them. Then I'm going to go back and change those words to the words that I want to use in my word search. As you can see, I also highlighted the words at the bottom just to help me keep track of the words that I have already found in the puzzle. The only word that I kept was party because party fits my birthday theme, so I'm going to keep that. Now that I have found all of the words, I'm going to go through the word search and I'm going to replace the words that were used with the words that I want to use for my word search. For instance, pumpkin. So you're going to have to select your highlight. You're going to have to go up to the position tab so that we don't have to delete it and we want to push it to the back. Well, not all the way to the back, but we want to push it back. That way we can select our letters. So I'm going to go and I'm going to change the P. Then I'm going to go over to the next letter. I'm 
I'm going to continue to do this for all of the words that I want to use in my word search. If you if you find it easier, you can delete the highlight and from there put in your words. But I do like to create an answer key for myself as I'm doing the puzzle. All right, so now that I have found and replaced all of the words with the words that I wanted to use, I can go down here at the bottom and I can delete the words down here and start putting in my own word search box. All right, so now that I have my word search box done, I'm gonna make a duplicate copy of the answer key. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna delete the highlights. Before saving, you can also add some images and clip arts if you want to. You can select any of Canva free images by heading over to Elements and searching for birthday or whatever your theme is. Or you can upload your own images by going over to the Uploads tab. You can also rename your puzzle by going up here before saving it. You can go up here to rename it. Select your download. You can save it as a PDF or you can save it as an image. Next, I wanted to show you how if you save your word search as an image, how you can add it to your coloring book. Now, if you all are interested in me showing you how to create custom coloring books over on canva drop me a comment down below i didn't want to make this video too long so it's going to have to be a separate video so after you save your word search image you're going to re-upload it back to canva you're going to go in into your coloring book file and you're going to add that image to your page and that's it Right now, I'm just showing you how you can edit the pre-made version of the word search template that I created for Canva. If you're interested in the template, you can find the link for it in the description box down below. Now that I have my word list done, I'm going to start adding the words into my puzzle. And as I'm adding my words, I'm going to create myself an answer key. And how I do this, I'm going to go over to Elements. I'm going to scroll down to Lines and Shapes, and I'm going to select the line. Now I want to go up to the line weight and I'm going to increase it. I'm going to find the first word that I added into the puzzle. I'm 
I'm going to change it to a light color like yellow. I'm going to go over to transparency and I'm going to scale it all the way down. I'm going to continue to do this with all of the words in my word bank. I'm going to go through the puzzle and find random places to place the words. And as I'm doing it, I am going to highlight the words so that I can create myself an answer key. So after I'm done creating my answer key, I will make a duplicate copy. Now I will go back and delete the highlights for the answer key. All right, guys, I really hope you all found the video helpful. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you want me to create another video showing you how to create custom coloring books over on Canva, drop me a comment down below. You can find the link for the pre-made word search template that I created in the description box down below. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when I post more videos. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.